guys welcome back I'm working on a steampunk journal uh, before we do the steampunk Halloween journal and I've already got the cover done this was the shaker card a uh, topper um, that I did for a uh, Miss P's collage challenge uh, for week 12 uh, so I went ahead and done that and I've got the pages ready to go and uh, punch the holes in because I'm going to use these but they're silver and I tried alcohol ink on them but it didn't stay it's coming off so I'm going to try the foundry wax and see if that works I don't know Trying to keep it off of the uh, part that actually folds, uh, you know, folds up. So it'll still work. And I gotta heat set it. Okay. Um, I do know that you don't want to put any heat near the bottle, so I'll have to move it out of the way when I get the heat tool. Because it will harden in the bottle and you cannot use it after that. Don't know how well this will work because I've never tried it on anything metal, but we're going to find out. give it a go. Where's my tweezers? Here we go. See if we can put this all together. 
I wasn't expecting to um, do all of this off camera. It just came to me whenever um, she had announced the challenge. So, still kind of warm. Uh oh. See that it's kind of flaking off, so that may not work. But okay. Hope everyone is doing well today. I'm doing all right. Still waiting for the test results to come back on some of the blood work. Uh, let me grab my chair. This might be a little bit easier. Oops. I'm sitting down. Okay. <sighs> Okie dokie. Now the steam the steampunk Halloween journal that I will be doing will be like a start to finish kind of a job because I will probably what I would like to do is make a lap book thing about uh, doing a ring bound is that they like to move on you when you're putting the pages in.
and now they're acting up. That would be my Pikachu instigating everything. You, of course, can hear my mom in the background calling her insane. She is sometimes. She is a crazy dog, that's for sure. not add as many pages it may not hold as much as I think it will Close it up. Come on. There we go. And that's what she's going to look like. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to add any, any uh, charms or anything to the sides or material or anything else like that. Well, i got plenty of scraps now. 
<sighs> I've also got some of these uh, steampunk images that I got from Timu that I can use to make cards and stuff with. And I'll have to make some pockets and things like that. Kind of working on a smaller scale here because, uh, well, originally I was going to do a paper bag journal, but that didn't work out so good. Uh, so she measures, what does she measure? Six inches tall by about five inches wide. So pretty small. But I'll have, uh, you know, plenty of writing space and stuff. Plenty of stuff to decorate with. Just doing kind of a tentative flip through to show you some of the images but yeah that's it for now uh, I'd say that didn't work out quite so good it may have been because I had alcohol ink on it first I could have probably removed the alcohol ink from there before doing anything else but I still like the little shaker card aspect of the cover and uh, since it does have uh, these rings, uh, I won't have to worry about a closure or anything for it. So, but anyway, I will leave it for there for right now. And then when we come back, we can start uh, making ephemera and pockets and things so that we can uh, do that. And, uh, continue on with the substitution series. And, um, don't know, oh, I do have a design team project for Kyung coming up too, again, after the lap book is done. Because uh, I want to work with, uh, Annie's new kit, the shattered flower kit that she made. It looks like kaleidoscope flowers and whatnot. So I'm going to do a botanical journal. Alright guys. So that is it for today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys back here again. Really soon. Bye.